The Malaysia My Second Home program is initiated by the Malaysian government. It gives people the world over the opportunity to stay in Malaysia for as long as possible on a social visit pass with a multiple entry visa. Besides a host of special benefits, participants on this program are offered a renewable social visit pass with multiple entry visa for an initial period of 10 years. Citizens of all countries recognized by the Malaysian government, regardless of race, religion or age, can apply to make Malaysia their second home. Well, originally we're from Australia, from Victoria, and we came here very often on holidays. And um, that went on for about five years, and each time that we had to go back to Australia after our holidays, it got harder and harder. So when we sold our last business in Australia a few years ago, we decided to make the move here permanently. And that's how we came to be on the Second Home Program. We bought an old shop house and uh, renovated it. It's now a very comfortable home and uh, we're very happy to be living here. Maybe not everybody realises how lucky they are here to have a country that's very safe and very peaceful and none of the peculiar infighting that goes on in so many other countries amongst different races and religions and so on. And that was one of the big attractions here. Plus the people are so friendly and they do their very best to make you feel welcome. Different races Peace and stability have long been a major reason why many people of all nationalities flock to Malaysia. She carries the distinction of being among God's most beautiful creations, endowed with breathtaking natural beauty. yet among the most stable economies in Southeast Asia. While it is a Muslim country, Malaysians who hail from various religious backgrounds are free to practice their individual religious beliefs and customs. This no doubt lends to the air of festivity and celebration all year round. We're doing our best to encourage other Australians to come here as well. So, any time that anybody's got any questions, just ask me. I'll tell them how wonderful it is here. In the last five years, close to 10,000 participants have successfully made Malaysia their second home. Some came to escape their hot summers or cold winters, some to retire or semi-retire, some for their children's education, and some use Malaysia as a base for their work and businesses in the region. I learnt about the, the MM2H program by word of mouth. I made the application uh, through an agent in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, which went very smoothly and I've now been accepted for the program. And the first thing you notice if you're from the UK is that it's very warm. Uh, the climate is absolutely lovely. It's very sunny and it doesn't get too hot. As I'm English, I find it very easy to fit in here because everybody speaks English, or nearly everybody. So uh, it's very easy to move around it's very easy to make a home here and it's very easy to get on with people. One of the advantages of the Malaysia My Second Home program is that you can buy property. You can then renovate it yourself and make it as you want it. Um, so you have the alternatives. 
you can buy a luxury condominium uh, to someone else's design where you can walk in with your suitcases, unpack and live your life. Otherwise, you can buy a place like this and develop it yourself. Participants of the Malaysia My Second Home program are allowed to purchase residential houses valued at more than 250,000 ringgit to 350,000 ringgit, each depending on location. I decided to buy a house of my own. Uh, it took some time to find the right one, but I think I found it. Um, it's a five bedroom property with three bathrooms, which will take about four months to refurbish. And I'm getting there. I've got about one month to go. Uh, we're working on the landscaping at the moment, as well as the interior of the house. All is going well because the builders speak English. Take a walk through any major town in this country and you'll be rewarded with a historically inspired mix of architectural styles. As I was trained as an architect, I find the built environment in Malaysia very interesting because Malaysia has a three main cultures. You've got your Malay, your Chinese and your Indian cultures. And associated with them is their architecture different architectural styles over the different periods. This is very interesting to me. When I came here for the first time 18 months ago at Christmas, just for a holiday, we wanted to go to Tierman, but at Christmas they've got the monsoon, the rainy season, so we came to Langkawi and within three days we'd just fallen in love with it, with the people. It was just beautiful and every time we go on holiday we think, could we live here when we're older? You're always looking for your perfect retirement place. We have friends in Kuala Lumpur, he's a solicitor, and he recommended us to do the Malaysia My Second Home program. So yeah, that's, that's how it happened really. There's just people everywhere that help you. I, I feel very warm about the country, it's great. We um, played golf and we went to the golf course and paid our fees for joining it for a year and then they, they chased us out. They said, oh, we've forgotten something. We thought, oh, they're going to ask for more money. And they said, because you're on the MM2 program, you get discount. So we got a discount on our golf, which was wonderful. Modern infrastructure with a well-developed transportation system affords accessibility not only within Malaysia but also to the world. I live in Langkawi, I come to Penang, I can go to KL, I can go to Bangkok. This is partly why we came to Malaysia, that was the other big thing actually, because we're in the centre of everything. We're halfway to Australia, there's Sabah, there's Sarawak, you can go anywhere, Singapore, it's in the middle of everywhere, all routes, it's, it's perfect for that. Oh, and the other thing is bank account. If you're on the MM2 program, open a bank account and it's fine. It just opens doors everywhere. It's, it's great. I came to Malaysia since uh, 1973. So I know Malaysia very well. And uh, of course, I came to know the Malaysia, my second home, uh, quite some time. So after my retirement in uh, 2003, I stayed two years in Japan, but I decided to come to Malaysia. Every day I'm quite busy. I've been playing tennis, I go up to gym, and sometimes I play golf. Well, you know that uh, the quality of the life, I mean, uh, play tennis or play golf or anything, you can have uh, three times more value here. Say, suppose you spend the 5,000 ringgit here. Maybe in Japan, it's uh, three times you have to pay. So the, compared with the quality, the, the cost is very inexpensive. So it's, it's a very good value. I, I bought a car, you know, with, with, uh, the, uh, without paying the, the tax. So I bought a Honda Accord, very, very cheap. It's about one and a half years already. Mm. It's very good infrastructure, 
telephone, uh, the internet, everything's okay. So I'm quite enjoy now. Mm. Well, anyway, the, my main activity place is the Peran Sports Club. So there we have uh, 3,700 members. So locals, you know, and uh, uh, foreigners and Japanese are all are there. And uh, we mix together. We go for lunch, dinner together. I first came to Malaysia in 1965, so I've had a long association with it. I think there's, there's four main reasons. First of all, it's the people. The people are friendly, courteous. Foreigners are generally well accepted in Malaysia. The second would be food. I don't think there's anywhere else in the world where you can get quite as a diversity of food as you can in Malaysia. People in this country are spoilt for choice with a tantalizing range of food options to suit every palate. The diversity of races and cultures and mind-boggling array of food outlets allow you to choose something different for every meal. Probably four days a week, I would go out to lunch with friends to local coffee shops you tend to eat out more than actually cook because that is actually less expensive. Then next would be climate. Everybody likes to live in, in the warmth. When you've got a constant climate throughout the year, it's um, a good place to live. It's a good place to retire. The last one would be cost of living. Cost of living here compared to the United Kingdom, it's about 25% um, of what you would spend in UK. About two years ago, I started looking for property. You know, when you're living in the condominium area, you've, you've got uh, the facilities, you've got gymnasium to use, you've got a swimming pool. I found extremely easy to do things. It was most relaxing. There was no stress involved. I enjoy walking around the old part of Georgetown, uh, which has a lot of art galleries. And some of the local artists here are extremely good. The art is very affordable. pace of life is much slower so um, there's no stress um, which makes it even more enjoyable being here. So why Malaysia? Why Malaysia compared to Thailand or any other country around here? I think we say it's language, English is very widely spoken, more so than any of the other Asian countries here. Malaysia, luckily, has had no terrorist attacks in a similar way to other countries around here. And that is because the government is very keen to make sure that the multi-ethnic groupings are stable, friendly and enjoy all the fruits of being a Malaysian. I've only had experience of two earthquakes while I've been in Asia. Both were south of the equator, and they're quite extraordinary. I haven't had one in Malaysia. Certainly it's uh, only just on the edge of the area that one might expect to have earthquakes. But um, so far, so good. Malaysia is a very special, very safe place. I am a pensioner and live on my pension from the United Kingdom. There is no problem whatsoever in transferring money through the bank or other means to Malaysia from the UK or Europe or Singapore. There is no special uh, problems connected with the rules and regulations in Malaysia. But getting old, one is often ill or seriously ill. And I've discovered that the facilities, not only in Kuala Lumpur, but elsewhere in Malaysia, like Penang and Sarawak, where I lived for four years, were excellent. All the doctors were trained overseas. I had no problem 
in just going along and being well treated and when necessary accepted in hospital, fully looked after as well. An efficient healthcare system is another reason why living in Malaysia is a viable option. The professionalism and relatively affordable cost of medical services here have made Malaysia a healthcare destination of choice within Asia. It is easy to see that uh, people in Malaysia can be Muslim or Catholic or Protestant or Hindu or many other religions. There are no hindrances whatsoever and it is very nice to see and realize that those who are interested in religion can do so without any problem whatsoever. In fact, there was nothing I could find not living here. Thinking of Singapore and Indonesia were possibilities, but for various reasons I turned against those, finding it easier in the long run to stay in Malaysia. We actually came to a base called Malaysia and about the last few days of our holiday Ricky said I really don't want to go home. So with that we discussed it and we came and we bought a property here in Malaysia. Here I feel so at home. We're going back in the next two weeks to the UK for a family wedding but this now I consider my home. While I'm here, my time is very busy. Uh, I've joined in with the local community and uh, even playing guitar and having jam sessions. And uh, that's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. My life is very, very full. Um, on my arrival here, um, Chris, has taught me to play golf and we go to the local golf courses at least twice a week. Uh, also on the condominium we have line dancing which I'd never done in my life before but thoroughly enjoy it and another way to make friends around the condominium. The supermarkets are excellent, you can buy almost everything that you wish and you can get absolutely everything from fish, meat, pork, chicken, fresh fruit and vegetables and it's so fresh. Uh, apart from that, the local market which is uh, really good, so we tend to buy almost everything there. Hi Rayleigh, yeah it's Ricky, how you doing? Um, the one nice thing is uh, we've got family all over the world and friends and the telecommunication here is excellent. Uh, to make calls to the UK and to my friends in Australia is so minimal you can be on the phone to the UK to family for maybe half an hour at a time and it costs you maybe a pound sterling. So uh, that's an excellent way to uh, be able to keep in touch with family and friends. One of the things I like to do is when I wake up in the morning, and uh, it's a very pleasant morning, I get myself a drink, pick up my favourite book, and I go out onto the balcony and just relax into a chair. If you want to enjoy yourself, come to Malaysia. It is an attractive programme. It could be made more attractive, <laughs> but uh, I believe the government's thinking about doing that. Uh, I think it's a good idea to have the programme because people like myself are encouraged to come here. If you are thinking of moving from the UK or Australia, I can think of no better plan than thinking of joining the MM2H. And it's just been wonderful, like we've never regretted it for one moment. And I'm sure there's lots more things I haven't even told you about, but it is great. Yeah, we're glad we did it. Yes.